Mm, spaghetti plots. And if you enjoy it, it's time for a paintball outing. The spaghetti plot was probably the earliest method to display uncertainty in ensemble prediction systems by taking one or more specific contour value or values, such as 500 hectopack scale geopotential heights, plotting those on a map, and then reviewing how the uncertainty evolved through a given forecast period. One of the key strengths of these plots is depicting strong agreement between ensemble members when the contours show good overlap or coherence, instilling confidence in the ensemble forecast. In this example, there is impressively good agreement in the 500 hectopascal geopotential height pattern from the GEFS for a 120-hour forecast in the southeastern United States where the contours are fairly close together. However, across California into the Four Corners region and over New England, there is more dispersion among the members, indicating greater uncertainty. Fast forward to the 240-hour forecast. It looks like I just threw spaghetti all over this image. Once those contours become too jumbled or appear as if someone forgot to mix the spaghetti and got it all tangled, it becomes very hard to figure out what the potential pattern could be for this forecast hour. Paintballs are a more recent and related plot for ensembles. Instead of plotting contours on a map, plots of shaded thresholds for each ensemble member are made and overlaid on the same map. Some plots will have transparency on the paintballs to see multiple layers over the same point, while others do not have transparency and make it a bit more difficult to visualize what's going on. When looking at paintballs, you can see where the ensembles are in good agreement, indicated by areas of gray which the paintballs are generally overlapping. This is 10 minutes into a worn-on forecast run, so we expect that there should be good agreement between ensemble members. However, we're already starting to see some areas where there is much more variability because you can pick out more of the individual colors. Moving forward in time, you can see that the worn-on forecast still has some good agreement in some areas, while other areas indicate considerable variability in the ensemble members. This is a good case for using neighborhood probability, which is defined later on in the Tools and Visualization section, to pull out details when the data becomes messy. And that's what the pitfalls are for both spaghetti plots and paintballs. At longer time ranges with much uncertainty, spaghetti and paintball maps can become unreadable. For something like worn on forecast, you can have multiple storms evolving in different ways while they end up at the same location. It would be very hard to connect the meteorological processes in the ensembles to the output because it's hard to track where each ensemble member corresponds to which contour or paintball. Finally, there's no context as to why there's so much variability. You would have to go in and look at other products to diagnose why there's variability.